As a Friday the 13th fan and collector, I almost feel like Friday the 13th should be a national holiday. I mean, let's get rid of the other ones, like, I don't know, Veterans Day. What have veterans ever done for... Okay, bad example. But you know what I'm saying. I just love being a fan of Friday the 13th. And nowadays, it seems like there's more crap than ever to collect. I mean, I don't mean crap. I mean, I mean treasures. I mean, come on, stuff like this. Books? Masks? Even the movies are getting re-released on Blu-ray and 3D treatments on DVD? How can you not be excited as a fan of Friday the 13th? I mean, there's so much stuff out there, and thanks to the remake movie, there's been a resurgent with tons and tons of collectibles hitting the market. Not only that, but as a collector like I am, I like to hunt down some of the stuff I may have missed over the years. Now, we did a special on Friday the 13th toys several months ago when the last Friday the 13th hit, and it was a pretty big hit with you guys out there, so we decided another Friday the 13th, another look at some of the new additions to my collection. First of all, here's one that I missed a while back. This is the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniac Series 5 Jason Voorhees from Jason X. Now, Jason X was the 10th movie in the franchise and the last one that had Kane Hodder in the starring role. This figure is basically what you'd expect from a McFarlane Toys uh, offering. There's a lot of nice detail. It's very well sculpted. It looks good from just about any angle. It's in a dynamic pose. It's very faithful to what you saw on the screen. And the articulation sucks. For instance, he's got this nice pose where it looks like he's getting ready to chop somebody apart. But uh, what are you going to do with this arm if you don't want to have him in the middle of a chop? Just kind of hanging out there. He does come with this uh, Jason X machete that he got off of the spaceship Grendel. And, uh, you know, he does look very nice. If you're going to put him up on your shelf and just leave him up there for people to look at, it's pretty cool. Now, the original Movie Maniacs characters had these huge frames that had the movie poster inside. And by the time they got to Series 5, they just had these little stands with this movie poster that sits on top. But the package is the clamshell you'd expect. The photo is actually the photo of the toy and not the movie, which may take you a moment to realize because of how well it actually is sculpted. All in all, it's a neat collector's piece, but again, the articulation sucks. Now, Cinema Fear from Mezco has been doing a lot of Friday the 13th figures, and this is the Jason Goes to Hell Jason Voorhees. Jason Goes to Hell was the ninth movie, and this is the one that teased the uh, Freddy vs. Jason movie for the first time. Now, Jason, as you can see, looks incredibly faithful to the way he looked in the movie. And this one, even though the legs are kind of trapped in their, uh, their half-step style, he's got articulation in the waist and the neck and the arms, so he still can be moved around um, and, and posed a little bit differently. He comes with this bloody machete. He also comes with the dagger that finally kills him in the movie. There's also the demon version of Jason. As Jason's body is destroyed, the demon can move to the body of a relative and he can be resurrected. He also comes with the uh, black heart that allows his essence to move to new bodies when his body has been destroyed. But taking a look at the figure, you can see that there's a lot of detail. The rips in the jeans might lead you to believe that it's a different layer, but it's not. The leg is one solid piece, and the rips and the skin underneath have all been sculpted together to look fantastic. All in all, I have to say that this is a great-looking figure. Now, the final new one that I've gotten this year is this Friday the 13th Part 3 Jason Voorhees from the Cinema of Fear line. Now, this is actually the first movie where Jason got the hockey mask, and quite frankly, one of my favorite incarnations of the character. He's got the green shirt, and his legs are once again locked in that kind of half-step motion, but his arms have articulation in the elbows, in the shoulders, in the wrists. His head is fairly well articulated, and the head can even be popped off and replaced by this one that has the machete wound in it. He comes with the axe and the machete, and the severed arm of Fox, the female biker chick who tried to come to terrorize the kids at the cabin, but ended up being just another victim. Now here we can take a look at a handful of the Jason Voorhees figures that have been released over the years. Most of these are from Mezco's Cinema of Fear line. 
Friday the 13th Part 3, Jason. Friday the 13th Part 4, Jason. Friday the 13th, Jason Goes to Hell, Part 9, Jason. Jason X, the 10th movie, Jason. And the remake version of Jason. You can see that pretty much no matter which movie in the franchise is your favorite, they've got a Jason to get you covered. Of course, the problem is, once again, most of these are collector's figures and not action figures. What's the difference? Well, for most of you, you're going to buy these and put them on your shelf, and they're going to look like this cool little Jason Voorhees you got just chilling next to your copy of, I don't know, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas or whatever you have sitting up there. For a guy like me, though, I have a tendency to take these out and, well, just play with them. They're toys, and I'm, well, I'm a pretty big kid. In fact, it looks like I've probably swallowed one or two in my day, but that's something we'll talk about on another day. I love taking out my toys and playing with them, posing them, making little voices, having them fight, and, you know, to be honest, most of these are not really good for that. But since I'm a fan of Friday the 13th, I just gotta have them. You know, it's kind of funny when I think back about 10 years ago, trying to get Friday the 13th merchandise was like, I don't know, trying to find an honest politician. And yet nowadays you can't swing a dead cat without running into some kind of Friday the 13th lunchbox or keychain or what have you. But at least I know that there are some high quality toys out there that really do a good job of capturing the look and feel of Friday the 13th. And even if the remakes go away and the franchise stops and the movies dry up and disappear, I'll still be a gigantic fan of Friday the 13th. And if your little sister carves a Jason Voorhees out of a bar of soap, hey, you know what? I'll be more than happy to add it to my collection. 